Si sadhu sadhu sadhu. So, dear Dhamma friends, when it comes to Buddha's teaching, so the very first thing that we have to understand uh, Buddhism is not kind of like uh, missionary teachings. And uh, even the monks are not kind of like uh, the interfering with your desires and monks are not the person who ever in the middle, in between the Buddha and the people trying to communicate behalf of you. So the, the Buddhism mainly based with teachings. That's always, that's why always monks trying to try, try to, to preach Dharma and try to talk about sutras. So the, and rather than pray, praying for you, rather than involving with your needs, it's trying to, to give kind of like wisdom for you to yourself to maintain your life. And other thing is, when it comes to Buddhism, people, everybody knows about the, this word called sansara. So what is the Buddha taught us regarding this sansara? And uh, when it comes to sansara, and mostly people think it is something exist beyond us as a world. And mostly people take this sansara as this uh, the material world and uh, it is separately exist and we are separate from it. So when it comes to world, there are two kind of world. One world is this outside world. In that world, you see earth, pl other planets and there is a uh, the mechanism with this all everything go with the heat, motion, liquidity and hardness. So that is the one world. And another world is our body, our self, our head to toes with this eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind. And the way we live with this, that is another world. So the sansara means the way you Maintain your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind world with the, the outside world. So when it comes to that, it is your own clarity going to change your sansara. So otherwise, we all not going to change the same, the experience the same kind of way of in day-to-day -day life with our experience. So we all see the, the sun and the moon and we see everybody see the, the same kind of this material world. But the sansara is person to person. It's a different behavior. Even though we experience the same kind of nature, its behavior is changed. What is that behavior? How that behavior change? Because according to the, the way you maintain your mind, your sansara, the very nature of the sansara can change. So then that's why you have to be very careful regarding yourself. Because if you become careless with your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, your own journey, can be so difficult, so hard. So then, to get into that understanding, you have to know how this sansara behave. It, it, it go according to the cause and effect. And where it is start? It is start inside your mind. So that's why it's called mind is the forerunner, mind is the creator. Which creator? The creator of the sansara. 
the mind is the chief in what in the sansara so then you have to look yourself and see it is your completely yourself 100% your own responsibility when you move in this sansara no one can interfere with that that's what you that's why you have to think about it and when it come to that what we teach we trying to teach it's like this if you don't know the sansar and sometimes you become so fearful and afraid for life and then you become a debtor to something and that's where you hold into believing and following and worshiping so like that path why because of the fear of the sansar but that fear itself not allow you to rescue yourself worshiping praying asking becoming a follower doesn't mean you going to become free from that you become a more debtor to that path praying no one got free for the moment they feel comfortable asking something no one can find the the complete liberation complete freedom from the situation for the moment maybe you find something and following somebody look at that it's kind of like a self motivated books when you go to amazon today that you see entire site regarding this self motivation and self understanding understanding all the books in that subject but reading that books or following 1 2 3 4 5 6 or 10 methods to to find this follow this this six method to to get into that that is but no one achieve to any anything what the buddha said only one way there is no any other way remember that maybe some people to get into that one way can categorize little little things but there is only one way what is that one way self realization self realization recognizing yourself who you are what is happening within yourself there is no any other way to get out of this sansara so that's why the buddha teach that was this all around the world this monks trying to teach it is like this when the, when the, that the house in fire if you don't know the the sansara is sansara is like the house on fire so you run away from the house because of the fear you thinking about yourself to survive but how about the fire fighter so the fire fighter go into the fire with necessary tools preparation understanding and the wisdom and knowingly what is the nature of the fire and it has necessary tools to rescue whoever inside that so the dharma also the buddha's teaching also the same it allow you to go into the the fire go into the sansara and recognize rather than escape from it rather than afraid from it go into it and recognize and rescue even yourself and help for others so that is buddha's teaching and for that you need the kind of it called upaya upaya means it's the powerful skill that you develop in your mind it as a profitable skill is kind of like a tactic and you use your mind according to necessary conditions in that very moment for that you have to develop the clarity so the meditation is the method that uplift that clarity with the recognition not by believing something 
we can come to believing or creating something in our mind as an illusion and we can come to a point and we think we are in clarity. But the thing is, we, we don't see it is a creation of our mind. So that's why we more trying to observe and recognize the world in nature because that world in nature give clear understanding regarding who we are and what is this world. So when you have this both understanding, it's like you are a well-prepared firefighter. The most important part is the awareness, the moment of the clarity within yourself. Forget about any other thing. Forget about the, 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 the good karma or forget about any other kind of method. Just, just see yourself. Are you available to hold the complete 100% clarity in your mind in the moment? So if you have that, what can go wrong? There's nothing can go wrong when your mind is clear. But when you look at your whole life, when the situations went wrong, more than any other situations, that doesn't mean that other situation not going to affect for us. Of course, we are part of this everything. But the mostly, the most important part, you have to remember, when the mind is not clear, anything can go wrong. But if the mind is clear, if you develop the clarity within yourself for in where, wherever you are in that very moment, if you have the clarity, so whatever the outcome, even maybe it is a come as a result of your previous karma. So whatever the horrible situation going to come, you have opportunity to, to get the, the best out of it. So then yourself and develop that rather than developing some unnecessary things, get the best, focus to the highest, stay with that the highest part and develop your own clarity. Then you know in day-to-day -day life, within your own, own life, when that clarity will keep you moment by moment, so yourself you know how it works. Who You are the one who is going to get the benefit out of it. And not only in this very moment, and the moment by moment, moment by process, in any field, in conventional life, even in your eternal life, that always it going to bring you the, the right result. So then that's step by step your the sansara and going to transform to nibbana. So then it is, it is your choice for the, of the moment. Are you going to get the, the path of the awareness or are you going to get the path of the other desires? So when it comes to life, then we, we talk about karma and everybody knows about karma. Then mostly people think it is something come from your previous action and sometimes nowadays people thinking about it is a it is a someone else decision like a creator or the god or something like that they can punish you and so that also people believe as karma and whatever they come to them they accepting this everything as karma more than that remember the karma is not uh, something always bad. It gives the, the authority, it gives the power to ourselves to maintain our life. The most important part of the karma is more than the previous things. If you recognize it very carefully, it teaches you, you are going to be responsible for your own action. So then, whatever you do in this very moment, 
and you going to get a result maybe in the future so that may be going to become hard for you so once you know that your life yourself you can build up very clearly and comfortably if you do the right things in the moment so that is a law of nature that you if you start to follow and understand so otherwise you no need to afraid for the karma you no need to afraid for the sansara or something like that. because the sansara itself mean you the way you maintain your five aggregates the way you maintain your mind and the karma is what in the moment whatever the decision you take so then if you able to develop the the awareness with the clarity in the moment so the karma in your hand why because you can decide decide what to do in the moment so according to that decision that things going to happen so there are three kind of animals that representing the certain behavior of us and one is rooster and one is snake and other one is pig so greed hatred and the delusion so the greed related with the pig and eat all the junk and anything and the the hatred related with the 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 snake aggressive always go for the the revenge and the the rooster represent the ignorance is is it has no direction it go anywhere everywhere no no kind of like discipline with the path so whatever the winds come the rooster go with it so like that this three nature if you observe very carefully and little by little little by little minimize yourself and you can transform this all the 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 animal behavior to to become better so as example that you know the pig and if you know this chinese people and when that they have that the the coin collectors is is like uh, is all is like pig so what is that mean so that mean if you able to maintain your greed desire you can become successful the you go to chinese places everywhere mostly they have a, a little pig and uh, the sometimes bank give coin collector with the little pig picture and the money always come with the that the the envelope is come with the the pig pictures that indicate if you able to balance your lust the pig nature you can become successful and the snake and as you know these people talk about the kundalini the the power of the snake and hide in your spine so this kind of thing because if you able to to manage your anger you can protect enormous energy in you your vitality going to become so strong and then your creative power going to become more 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 clear and become better and when people get angry mad their creativity disappear so that's when we look at the world today so the uh, the the power of the, the, the snake power is overtaking the world the any nation when they have the anger hatred jealousy so the mainly the anger the creativity disappear people become weak so that is what happening 
it's uh, mostly people today they are more than calm and relaxed they are more angry regarding many situations it can become because of the politics it can become because of the virus it can become because of others behavior it can become because of any other religion so like that when we look at uh, uh, most countries people become more angry more angry more angry so then what is happening they lose their creativity and then they become weak so that is world in nature so then you have to be very careful to yourself and the rooster then the, the itself when you overtake this you become more balanced and you become more more safe in the path so then yourself if you not interfere with anything in life and there are the situations going to become more comfortable for you than creating the fear anxiety depression rather than going to unknown situations it lead us to clarity moment by moment so then think about yourself and try to conquer this three animal behavior inside you it is a skill so through meditation it develop your awareness to understand this little by little little by little inside you because otherwise the this desires even it come from the mother's womb and when we come to mother's womb and uh, we where our life start and from that place sometimes even our parents behavior can affect for us our other people's behavior can increase this animal behavior inside us so as example you know when the the when the mother become pregnant and whatever she like to eat other whole village people everybody like to give why people give like that way to make the mother happy the very reason for that it is not about the mother it is about the child because if the child in the mother's womb don't receive whatever it need or if the mother doesn't get what she want and as example if the mother become angry when the child inside the womb and if the mother feel greedy or the the need something when the child in inside the womb in the if the mother feel kind of like uh, ignorance not knowingly reason or what to do like that if if her mind go and balance this three nature effect for the child and then the, the when the child born so when, while the the child in the mother's womb if the mother didn't get enough food or whatever she like to eat you know what is happening as a result of that the child becomes so greedy and sometimes it, it that child has power to destroy everything to get that his or her desire to satisfy maybe it can happen it multiply when it come to the world so if the mother as example if the mother want to eat a mango and she didn't get it and that effect for the child and that child lust and need because mother didn't satisfied so through that what happened the child nature start to get into to empower little by little little by little developing inside it and when the child come and he come to this world with the great lust strong lust so that's why before the child born the all the village people everybody whatever that she like and try to give her and when the when she satisfied when the child come and the child become more calm and relaxed and the same thing with the mother when the mother in the child in the mother's womb if the mother had the the anger and then what is happening it effect for the child so the, when the child come 
and the, it it he it she or he come with the the great force or the power the snake power and then once it come then it can destroy everything that is why you see more than any other time so these young people even their own brothers and sisters killing each other killing their own parents and they they become like wild animal so how this happened it not happened just overnight so this is a process that happening with our the the our consciousness so that's why you have to be very careful regarding that in the moment that what you hold why because the karma means that yourself mean that whatever the decision that you take it has power to change your life and not only your life and it has power to impact others so then if you know this method then yourself you become you you become careful and ignorance when the mother inside the when the child inside the mother's womb if the mother gets get doubt and if the mother have the fear so that leads her the the child to ignorance so that is why the mostly the children nowadays and they born with the ignorance cannot fix when they born with the greed when they born with the anger how the world can heal it is very difficult so that's why this teachings is very important because these teachings allow how to fix that so the way to fix it is getting to the deeper awareness of the consciousness even that child born with the great anger hatred or the delusion and then if that child understand the moment of awareness is belong to that child and if he if he or she become more clear and with that moment and whatever the decision that child take in that very moment that decision has power to change entire this whole system so then who we knows the, the how we knows that ourselves when we are in the mother's womb how our mothers behaved how we knows you don't know about it we have the great compassion regarding our parents we respect and we keep the highest place our parents but at the same time but how we know our previous lives before we end our last life with what thought we came here and how we know us when we are in the mother's womb what kind of environment she had and how we know us that in after that within first 5 years what kind of mental formations we accumulated so that's why even though in the surface level we see this world like this with our eye ear nose tongue body mind the deeper inside we are developing kind of like a darkness within our own heart so that's why the world is becoming this this way otherwise if our heart is clear if we become more clear and if we develop the clarity the world cannot become like this so you cannot become disturbed out of the world like why because the world is the part of you so then 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 remember yourself the majority is is different than we think so then it our responsibility is and developing yourself and getting to the clarity without getting disturbed out of it because that's the way you can purify yourself otherwise there is no way so rather than going away from but the escape from the samsara start to get into the get the right tools understand about it and don't afraid for that and become like a well prepared well trained experienced firefighter and get with the the get ready with the awareness and go 
towards the the sansar and recognize it that is where you can end this so for that you need the moment of clarity so in the moment if you become very clear 100% without any disturbances or without any interfering within your own past or the future experience thoughts if you able to get a decision with the very clear mind without greed hatred and the delusion that has power to change entire your history so that has power to transform your sansara to nibbana so try to develop that moment so it come with the understanding it come with the implementation and using the understanding and it come with the experience it come with the consistency developing moment by moment moment by moment moment by moment of the the clarity and for that you need some kind of silence also some kind of patience also and one of the best tool is the the silence so there was there were husband and wife this wife giving hard time and the, the husband had a very difficult life in his life so then one day he went to temple and met the monk and told this is enough for me i am so tired living with my wife and she giving me so hard time i don't know what to do so monk told i will give a mantra don't worry everything going to work so what is the mantra don't say anything don't interfere with anything don't say anything just be silence and then he asked how it going to work because mantra need to be need to be some words or something like that the monk monk told don't ask any question so whenever she get mad angry just be silence and every day you should come to temple and stay under the bodhi tree and just stay there so one hour and go for seven days but if the monk if the wife asks something you can tell the truth you came to temple and meet the monk that's it don't tell anything else so this person agree to do it for seven days now every day he come stay one hour and go home so the wife asks where you went and he told i went to temple why meet the monk that's it and then what the monk told he didn't say anything he was silent now he go to his silence mode and then she get mad and then the next day he went to temple and the go home and the same question asked where you went temple why to meet the monk what the monk told and he didn't tell anything so the third day he went to temple and then she get mad when he come home and now she want to know what the monk told and she get mad and ask tell me what the monk told are you telling all the bad things about me to you monks or what the monk told he doesn't tell anything so fourth day fifth day sixth day when the by seventh day what happened now the fight became so big and when he came home and she asked tell me where you go oh i went, went to temple why to meet monk so that's it then she start to fight and ask tell me what the monk told and he didn't tell and then she told um, now the monk is important than me for you so that's why you don't tell anything to me no longer i am not going to be with you so i going to leave you and i go to my home and she took everything and 
leave the home and went to her mother's home. And on the way, and he saw her leaving the house and he understood how the, the mantra work. So sometimes being silence can fix a lot of things, take you away from a lot of situations. So try to practice the, the mantra that being silence. So with that, I bless upon everyone. With this good practice, may all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patient, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbhityo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatvantara yo suki di gayuko bhava etavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva no more than to sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta no more than to sabba sampati siddhya sabbe sata no more than to Sabha Sampati Siddhya Idhamme Punya Kammanga Savakkaya Vahangotu Sabha Dukkha Pamunchatu Bless you.